This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. A berth in the District 10 football championship on the line at Alumni Stadium. John F. Ross and the Centennial Spartans meeting in the first semifinal on Friday afternoon. The winner advancing to next Friday's final. We start in the second quarter. The Spartans up 2-0. Here's a nice run by Callum Williams for the Royals. He picks up eight yards and a first down. The Royals on the move. They would march down the field. And here's the first touchdown of the game. Tim Nixon scores on a QB keeper. The underdog. Royals taking the lead. They are up 7-2. Then it's solid work from the Ross defense. Cameron Snook and Isaiah Hare combining for this tackle. They bring down Ethan Godino in the backfield. Later in the quarter, here comes Malik Faulkner. He breaks through, and what a play from Faulkner. He brings down Amory Atwell for a huge loss. Faulkner with a sack. Still in the second, the Royals with possession. Tim Nixon with a shovel pass to Callum Williams. He's got a first down and more. Williams takes it to the 20 yard line. Ross trying to strike before the half is over. And a few plays later, Nixon with a toss for Drew McQueen. He's got space and he runs in for a touchdown. That's an 11 yard passing play. John F. Ross is up 14 2 at the break. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder this video is presented by Guelph Minor Football, a proud supporter of District 10 football. Learn more about the Junior Griffins and their programs by visiting GuelphMinorFootball.net. Net. Let's move to the third, and the Spartans breaking through. Amory Atwell with a deep ball. Matthew Stam is there, and he's got it for a touchdown. What a play. 31 yards for a major. Centennial is now trailing 14-9 as we move to the fourth. The Royals with the ball. The pass to the far side is intercepted by Cam Viveros. Huge play there. The Spartans taking over possession of Royals territory with six minutes left in regulation. Out comes the offense. It's a handoff to Ethan and Godino and look out. Godino is motoring down the field and he is going to score. But hold on. There's a flag on the 31 yard line. CCVI is called for holding and the touchdown comes off the board. Still 14 9. The penalty though didn't phase Godino. Same possession. He runs right, turns the corner, and what a run from Godino. He takes it to the 7 yard line. The Spartans looking for the lead and they cap off the drive with a touchdown run from Godino. Have yourself a day, Ethan Godino. He gives Centennial the lead, 15-14 Spartans. Late stages of regulation, the Royals looking to answer. Maddox Martin with a huge play on defense. He's got a sack, and it all comes down to this. It's third in season for John F. Ross. They need four yards for a first down. Nixon going to the air, the pass falling incomplete, and that's it. The Spartans hang on, and they are moving on. Centennial wins a thriller. 15-14 over the Royals. What a game. Ethan Godino with a game-winning touchdown and a thrilling victory for the Spartans. Seeing us down, of course, it's it's up to the um, 12 plus, it's up to the 12s who played four or five years. It's up to us to lead us through and me being a captain on my team, me being a 12 plus, I needed to get through there, right? And I would do anything to help my team. I'll do anything just to pound that rock and pound that rock to the end. Adversity, right? It got called back, so it's just the adversity. Going back to it and pounding it right in for the touchdown. Ah! That's what we do. Oh, I had to. Just got to pound it in right to the end, you know? Anything for my team. I love them. Ethan Godino is the best running back you'll ever see. This guy won't go down. He fights till the end. You know him. Uh, we didn't, penalties didn't go our way, but you know, we still fought through and we took the dub, thankfully. Now we got D10 finals ahead. It feels so good, but I mean, let's yeah! go! Yeah! Let's go! I don't know, I'm not good on cameras, but. <laughs> like, how did you guys get it done today? How'd you find a way to come back? Uh, I mean, quarter like that? I mean, at the start, we were just beating ourselves, and I mean, halftime, like, we just. I mean, I don't know, we just came back, like, we didn't stop, we've, uh, I'm trying not to swear, uh, we just, um, we turned around and, 
I mean, here we are. But we're not done. One more game left. We're still locked in. We'll enjoy this moment, but uh, after that, we got to lock in. One more to go and more after that. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.